before, man. Yeah, I knew he was gonna come out fast. Um, like I said, I seen what he did with Maidana. So we already had in our mind, like, you know, you know, we're in his backyard. We know he's gonna come out fast, try to prove a point. Stay. Yeah, I kept hearing it, Lopez, Lopez. So I was like, okay, I stayed calm. Every time they chanted his name, I wanted to hit him with the jab. Bam, bam, bam. So like I said, every round, I just kept the jab in his face. I kept seeing him round after round, break him up. And, you know, I let him throw some shots because, yeah, like I said, I didn't really feel him. You know what I mean? Especially after that first, you know, round of him just really throwing. That's why I really kind of, like, took that approach just to bring, you know I mean, just to, like, force my presence on him and just to feel him and just to let him know that, you know, he's not hurting me at all. And I'm just going to keep this jab in his face, keep breaking him up, and eventually he's going to whoop. So what grade would you give yourself on this fight? Uh, C plus, B minus. I mean, like I said, I, I think it was a tremendous fight for the fans. You know, but like I said, you know, I still have a lot of work to do. Um, I mean, you know, this is like my first real fight, you know, coming back. You know, my last fight, you know, was still so, so, you know, the guy didn't really throw punches too much at all. You know, but this fight, you know, I know I was going to fight a tough competitor, Josecito. And like I said, you know, he beat Victor Ortiz. He was the guy that I lost to. So. You talked about Marcos Maidana before when I saw you at the gym, man. Is that still a fight? Marcos Maidana, you told me you wanted that fight at the gym before. Is that still a fight that you wanted? How does that fight play out? I think it'll be an exciting fight. Uh, you know, I don't know what round that he knocked Josecito out. What he did against Josecito too, were you trying to measure up what he did? At the same time, you know, just like you said, you know, I mean, like I said, you know, before, you know, I just really just wanted to take my time with him because I knew what he did to Maidana. He came out fast, he dropped Maidana, he to the and went to the body, and, you know, he hurt Maidana the first couple rounds, he was up, you know, so I just, you know, I seen that. And I really just wanted just to just to really just put that in my game plan, just take my time because I knew he was going to come out fast. You know, he was in his backyard. Just so I let him get his shots off and just stay calm and stay poised. And I just start really just start, I mean, just dropping some heavy shots on him. Gio over here won your contest beast mode. Tell him he's a great fighter. This is Chris Jenny, won your contest beast mode. Oh, he wants you to sign. Hey, I see him in the gym every day. He's like the next Oscar de la Hoya. Yeah. yeah. Show him, show him how you shadow box. Hey, Andre, what was the experience like on Spike TV? Show us the shadow box. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. I, I, I think he's faster than you. I told you, Bruno. I told you. Andre, you're faster than Thank you. Thank you. Andre, here. Andre, here. Andre, here. Hey, you made his night, Bruno. You made his night. Do you tell him, Andre. Andre. Hey, tell him thank you. Andre, Andre, real quick, Andre. fighting on Spike TV. The first fight on Spike TV. Boxing yeah, first match. fight on that? Spike TV, man. I think we made a uh, you know, big impact tonight. And I really want to see those numbers when they come in. <laughs> and, if, and if these numbers look serious, I'm going to have to call Al be like, listen, I need me some more of that cash. Andre, <laughs> the fight was Andre, trending on Twitter. It was, was trending. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think these numbers are going to come back good. Andre, you said you were, you were ready for anybody. Do you think you get the opportunity at a world title in 2015? Yeah, I believe so. Um, you know, like I said, you know, you know, we got a lot of big things that you know, happen in 2015. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay focused, man, and and, 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 and you know, just you know, stay working hard. Are you gonna do? Do you think you can? You you defended the times. You were undefeated. Do you think you can do that and maybe even better things in the second part of your career now? Yeah, I believe so. You know, I believe that I've grown yeah, into a more yeah. mature fighter, more you know, disciplined fighter. And, uh, and like I say, man, you know, like I really been through a lot. So, you know, somebody that's really been through some things, it's hard to tell them or it's hard to really deter them from, you know, from wanting something. Last, you know? oh, Last question, how did it feel to be the fighter of the night? Oh, was I? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, I mean, like I say, it feels good, man. Like I said, I give God all the glory, man. Like I said, I've been through some things, so, so you know, yeah, it was a hard, long road back, you know, but I'm here. Thanks for your time, Andre. All right. Thanks, Andre. Appreciate you, baby.